Hi, welcome to another session of biology. Today we shall be discussing about rain, where does it come from? To start with, when do we say it is raining? We say it is raining when the water from the sky descends, descends onto the ground, we say it is raining. So water which is present in the sky, in the atmosphere, when it comes down onto the surface of the earth, we say it is raining. So how does the water that is present in the water bodies go up to the sky and how does it come back to the ground? So by the end of the session, we shall know the answers for these type of questions like when does it rain, how does it rain and how does the water go up onto the atmosphere. So to start with, let's discuss about water. So we know water is a universal solvent and it also exists in three forms that is solid, liquid and gaseous state. Repeating, water is a universal solvent and water is existing in three forms that is solid, liquid and gaseous state. If there is no water, there will be no life on the earth. The solid form exists in the form of ice or as snow. So normally when we take some water, when we put it in ice cubes tray and when we freeze it, we can see that the water gets cooled and we can see the crystals forming that the ice cubes will be formed. And when the water is heated, it converts into the gaseous state which will be the form of water vapor. So solid state, the water exists in form of ice and snow. The liquid state, it exists in the form of water and in the gaseous state, it exists in the form of water vapor. So here are few ice cubes and these ice cubes I am putting in a beaker and when we try to heat this water which is containing ice cubes yeah so when we try to heat the water which is containing ice cubes we see that the ice which is in crystal form melts and as we go on heating the, the ice that is in the crystal form goes on melting and when we still boil it we can see the vapors slowly we see the vapors coming outside so as it's just started it takes a while for us to see the water converting into water vapor. So here the water which is in the liquid form will be converted into ice when it is cooled. Water when it is in the liquid which is in the liquid form when it is heated it gets converted into 
water vapor. In the same way, when the water, one, when the water vapor is cooled, it can converts into water. And when the water is, sorry, and when the ice is heated, it will be converting into water. So these are interchangeable reactions. They are inter changeable reactions. So ice converting into water, water converting into water vapor when it is heated and water vapor converting into water and water converting into snow or ice when it is cooled. They are interchangeable reactions. So when we see what and the seven